once again. Yes, sir. He, he's definitely did that. Uh, one team that isn't on a Christmas Day slate, though, and you, and you mentioned them in terms of rankings in the Eastern Conference, the Philadelphia 76ers. Joel Embiid gets a new contract extension. Well-deserved. Uh, yeah. Embiid was a, was a finalist, uh, MVP finalist last year and on one leg was out there averaging 30. Yes. But on the flip side of that, Ben Simmons now is in returning calls. He is already let it be known he wants out. And then we get the, the leaked videos of him shooting threes in an empty gym with John Morant. I mean, what, least, what do we make? At least he's shooting. I mean, we, game where it counts at, but at least he is shooting. You got it's the little things, man. You got to take it step by step, man. I, I guess, but I mean, I, I think we've seen these videos before, right? I, I feel like this is like the third off season we've seen videos of him shooting three pointers. And, and I think 2K put out his three point rating at zero. Damn. I, I, I got to. <laughs> I mean, if you don't shoot it, what are they rating it off of if you don't yeah. shoot it? Yeah, that's true. Damn, that's crazy. Zero? What, what do we make of Philly? Because on paper, I mean, they've got top five talent. There ain't many teams that are better than them on paper, but this whole Ben situation, it seems like it's getting out of hand right now. What do we make of this? Bro, I'm st- like, I'm still confused because I'm just like, you know, Ben Simmons could average 20 points a game without shooting a three point. Right. Minimum. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, when you look at, at and obviously I know he, he runs the, the floor for them, but he's 6'10". But when you, if you look at guys like Shaq. Uh, who averaged 25, 28 a game, never shot a three-pointer. You know what I mean? So you can score without shooting the three. He just doesn't try at all. And I don't get it. Like, if he if, – if he, oh, he, you can go to the basket every time down and just lay the ball up or dunk it and get your, get the points up that way. Um, but, you know, now it's just, it's, it's just too far gone. Um, I mean, I'm sure, you know, Ben is probably – you know, in his feelings a little bit because, you know, guys kind of threw him under the bus. Doc Rivers and, and, and uh, Joel and B during the press conferences after they were losing. So I'm, tr- I'm sure that didn't sit well with him. And then it's pretty much, you know, because he had he wasn't shooting, it's like the blame goes to Ben Simmons. Because if you had he at least took that one layup on that on that on that play, you know, things might be might be different. You guys lost to a team that talent wise, you guys are light years ahead of. You know, what I mean, shout out to to the Atlanta Hawks because they they overperformed. But there's no way that 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 Philadelphia should should lose that series when when you have uh, Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, Tobias Harris. You're coached by Doc Rivers. There's no way that that they should lose that series. Um, they've I, they're gonna have to move them at some point, uh, but they can't be greedy. They were trying to get outlandish offers for Ben Simmons, and that's probably not gonna happen because his stock is down right now. You can't ask for you know ask for the whole chocolate factory when his his stock is down. Like he's coming off of the worst playoff series he's played. And I, and I get it. He hasn't played in that many, but the last thing we've seen of him was horrible. And that's all the talk has been about was how horrible he was in that Atlanta series. He was scared to shoot. He couldn't make free throws. You know what I mean? So they, 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 they're they going to have to make a move. Um, honestly, I would try to go with Golden State. You know, they may be able to, to work something out with Portland for, for CJ, but they're going to have to move him and they're going to have to come down on that asking price. This isn't like when the Knicks are trying to trade for Melo, you know, peak Melo. He doesn't have that type of trade value right now. So they're going to have to scale it back and because they can get a, a decent haul. They can definitely get a, an all-star in return for Ben Simmons, but they're going to have to take it back a little bit. Yeah, they, they're in a difficult spot because uh, just last summer, remember, they had the opportunity to get James Harden. And they didn't want to move Ben Simmons. And so now, like you said, his, his value is a little low, but he's still under contract for four years. Actually, and at his age, what happened? I bet you they regret that one. Oh, yeah. We, well, we talked about that at the time. We said that that would be the defining trade of the organization. Right. If if Ben continued to be what we thought he could become, and we even talked about it with the Ballers Journal, 
Ben could be the X factor in the Sixers winning it all. And unfortunately, they got bad Ben Simmons in the playoffs. They didn't get good Ben Simmons. So, you know, a, a trade for a Harden type player probably is not going to be there to get Dame for Ben. Is I don't know if Portland does it straight up. I think they might want something else just because Dame is so much better in terms of being the player in the trade. Yeah. Um, but if, if you're Philly, you're, you're screwed either way because he signed in the contract for four years. So if I'm trading for a, a good player, a all-star caliber player, but maybe he's only signed for another year or two, now I'm stuck with the burden of now having to renegotiate a new contract when I already had been under contract for four years. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what they do. And I, I've thrown out different ideas of what they might be able to trade for. I think they're going to end up holding on to Ben to the last minute. I think they're going to try to figure it out and they're going to try to see if they can get him back in and then come trade deadline. If, if it's not working, then you try to move him at that point and you make the move. But even then you run the risk of you split the locker room now and you take a team that had title aspirations. And now you're no longer a contender because the locker room is split between your two superstars. So yeah. they're, they're in a, in a very tough spot as a Nick fan. I love it to be honest, because they are in our division. So that's, that's, that's one less thing I got to worry about. But as a fan of the sport of basketball, I hate to see it because I, I truly think Joel Embiid is a unique talent. And it's unfortunate that Embiid every year, we have asked him to change his game, right? Get in shape, Joel. Shoot more threes. Be more physical. Be more dominant. And all these things that we've asked of him, he's taken on that challenge. And yet, only thing we're asking from Ben is to be more aggressive. And Ben can't do that. Like, Joel is shooting threes because Ben won't shoot threes. So or, at or some point, anything, judge, or, or won't judge. right, or won't shoot anything. So at some point, you got to give Joel the help he needs so that he can carry you to the places you expect him to carry you to. Absolutely, that's it. That's, that's like yeah. Then I'll need to play. That's it. It, it. it is what it is, man. Let's get. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. <laughs> Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought 